Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. I know you guys see me like super up close. That's because we're gonna be doing an up close video. Okay, so as you guys can see by the title, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a beauty secret yes a hollywood beauty secret okay so stay tuned okay so basically the secret the hollywood beauty secret so are you a person who have little to no eyebrows and you fill them in like me i fill my in with this wet and wild eyeliner pencil and i usually go on with the concealer but this time i didn't I wanted to get more like of a natural look so that's what we're doing but if you want this look to stay in place all day thing there then keep on watching i'm going to show you this old time beauty hack that i was not familiar with until last year and i was like oh okay and i tried it a couple of times and it worked uh it's different but it worked so I'm gonna just zoom in. If you can see my guy, if you if you guys can see my eyebrows, y'all see that? They look pretty good. They're natural. I just waxed them. Uh, so these are my brows, right? And so we want these to really lay down and stay in place and last all day. And we're gonna do that with this simple hack that I'm about to show you guys. Super simple quick and effective so i'm I already filled them in i guess i could just show you guys i lightly feather them i don't want them too dark but I'll, I'll lightly feather them right <laughs> i lightly feather them and then I, I just go up and i brush it like that just to blend the color Blend that color in, girl. So I'm about to show y'all this hack, y'all. This hack was like, it was bomb. It's bomb, it's bomb. So, you see the brows. We got them filled in. All right. Y'all ready? Drum roll. <laughs> Bam. That's right. Elmer's washable glue stick. This is what we're gonna be applying on our brows so that they can last all day long. Okay, so we just pop it open. And as you guys can see, I've used it <laughs> a couple of times because <laughs> it works. <laughs> so then you just, some people draw it on there. I'm not gonna do that, I don't like that. I just like to take my spoolie I like to take my spoolie and brush it on like this. Brush it on, sorry. Let me, let me do this. And I got this glue from Walmart. Two, I think it was like two or three in a pack. But you brush it on like that. We're just trying to get a good brush. And you guys, watch this watch the work so you go up in an upward motion look at that it's already like working see look at that brow and look at that one and you just brush as you see me do I'm like brushing up, like so I'm brushing up and I'm like going over, naturally having it do that. So I'm just putting more on there and I'm just brushing, 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 brushing. I have to use, I don't have a mirror. Let me see. I do have a mirror. I, love I do have a mirror. I just want to make sure you guys can see me. So yes, you guys, this is the old Hollywood trick that many people have used even when they're trying to do like a very different type of look and try to create something different so 
they use they use this to keep hairs in place yeah look at those brows so I don't know if you guys ever heard of brow limitation, but this is what that kind of reminds me of, in a sense. So it's starting to thicken up and dry, so I'm about to stop. I think I put too much on. Yeah, I probably did. That's okay. They gonna stay in place though. Look at that. I'm gonna have glue. No. So you see that? Boom. No glue, glue. And it's really like, you can feel it. Like it's kind of tight, but not like a bad tight. Just like a tight where you can feel it. But this is the trick, you guys. Anybody can try this at home. Now, if you're allergic to certain things or I wouldn't do this, but feel free to try this at home if the next time you're wondering how to lay down those brows, sis. How to lay down those brows. This would be a nice trick to do. Definitely if you have a lot of brows. I would assume if you had a lot of brows that your hair, you would notice a difference right away with your hair laying down. I don't have much brows and I notice a huge difference. And I like them. look at these brows oh my goodness and of course i'm just going to throw this spoolie away or keep it until next time you can use soap and water to clean your brush your spoolie and use soap and water to take it off you might have to use some oil too can not never go wrong with oil look at those brows i'm impressed it looked like I did my, got, well, it looked like I did a lot of work on my brows. Comment down below and let me know what are some of the tips and tricks you guys do with your brows that work. I'm, I can try them out, see if it works. Let me know. Look at me, I'm like overdoing it. I like to put a whole bunch on there. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. And so far, I like them. I feel like there's a big difference. My hair is laying down, and like I said, you can definitely definitely feel it. And the only thing you need for this video to achieve what I achieve is three or four things. In this case, I only used three things. I did not go in to clean it up with a concealer. I did not want to do that today in this video, but I used three things. The uh, brow pencil, the glue, and the spoolie to achieve this look. Cute. <laughs> okay, you guys. So if thanks for watching this video. If you liked it and you enjoyed it, give it a big fat thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to like it because YouTube algorithm will help my video show more if you guys like it. So please do me a kind gesture and go ahead and like this video. And if you want more tips, beauty tips, tricks like this, uh, let me know. I'll be willing to share them with you. Thank you. Bye.